What's up? How are you? It is self love day 23 and I have got nothing. I'm not really sure uh, what to talk to you about this evening because there isn't a thing that is standing out right now. There isn't something that is absolutely glaring out at me. This day has been filled with self love, but it's been an interesting situation because it hasn't been just one thing. Uh, it's my time of the month. I don't feel good about it. I'm tired, got cramps. I almost forgot that I had to do my video today. That's been going on, no biggie. Been moving through the day. But there has also been other stuff. I have been reaching out uh, to do a couple of business things and have really just kind of been over any types of drama, not open to it, not interested in it. And the self-love comes in through that way by just knowing that outer circumstances don't define me and people's reactions and their thoughts, as much as I respect others, it doesn't define me. It doesn't define what I need to do and what I want and what I believe and how I should communicate. I'm not talking about ever being disrespectful uh, to another person. I'm just saying that what I noticed that was different for me today is a couple of things. So the first thing right now coming to you to talk about self-love and really not having anything as far as a standout topic is self-love in a sense because I'm just allowing myself to be okay with that and to really share with you the authentic truth about what's happening for me today. I'm just present right now. I'm present with what is. I'm present with my cramps. I'm present with the fact I'm tired. I'm present with just presenting this piece of life and this experience to you and knowing that um, you'll see it and you'll have your own reactions and that all is well, that I don't have to be perfect or have it figured out. The point of this self-love challenge is being loving to myself and being loving to the moment and being loving to the truth. And so that's part of it. Another thing that has come up today is, like I had said, I had realized that have you ever been talking to somebody or communicating with someone in any way, email, text, talking to them, and they seem to really want to be interested in gossip or rehashing things or just, and, and all you want to do is maybe get to a solution. All you want to do is move on to the next thing. I found myself in that situation today, and rather than get sucked up in it, I just was loving and backed away from that. It was like, you know, I don't care about rehashing stories. I don't care about uh, gossip or thinking about problems. I care about being free and being happy and thinking of solutions and speaking on how we can move forward in power. So doing that was really powerful today and it was really self-loving. Another thing that was self-love today is I found myself starting to get a little bit worked up inside to where I was wanting to maybe edit what I said or trying to figure it out. I don't know if you've ever had a problem, issue, concern, worry where you find yourself really just up here. Like you're trying to figure it out and you're trying to, and it's, it's just, it feels like a gear that's stuck or, or something that you can't work through and you're just trying to muscle through. I started to get some indications of that today and how I was self-loving was just by saying, wait a second, let me just take a minute. Let me just go ahead and breathe. Let me walk away from this for right now. And let me just go ahead and pray on this and just allow myself to settle down and know that the best is being worked out right now. I don't necessarily have to have all the answers. I found that to be very self-loving today, very just loving for myself, for my emotions in the moment, for my outcome, and, and for also, I believe, how 
I will interact with, you know, the other person because rather than just try to handle this right now and figure it out and it's like, calm down. Let's get clear headed about this. Let's allow space for goodness to come through. And finally, another thing that was self-loving today is that, you know, I went for a hike uh, early this morning with some girlfriends and that was really cool to do. It was really fun and it was nice to just be out and to do that and not just stay in bed, laying around sleeping, especially when it's my time I get tired and that just happens sometimes. So I stepped out in a different way and didn't let that define me. So really today there isn't one particular theme that like my other days have been, it's kind of been just taking this self-love practice and just letting it show up in different ways for me today. And and that, to be honest with you, it hasn't even been a conscious choice. It just seems to kind of be showing up today and being um, and coming forth. And I think now that I'm sharing this with you, what's exciting about that is that this is working and it's starting to happen automatic, at least today. It's been a very automatic process with, thank you so much for the heart. I appreciate that. Um, it's been a really cool automatic process and that gives me hope because I've, it's day 23 of this self-love challenge and um, to find that these things are starting to kind of automatically happen on their own is very promising for future days. So yeah, that's that's what's up. Are you interested in a self-love challenge? What do you think about this whole process? Is there something that's on your mind or in your heart? I'm always open to hear you out and to receive your comments, questions, concerns. I appreciate definitely connecting with you and hearing what you have to say and what's going on for you. This whole thing is about living our best lives now and about really being as free as we can and as happy as we can because life is good and we should enjoy every minute of it. So that's where I'm at today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am T. Marie. I can be found everywhere, tmarie.com. And uh, thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and uh, interacting. I appreciate you very much. Have a wonderful night and uh, let's be loving. <laughs> See you tomorrow for day 24. Bye.